In this video, I will show you how to set up a WordPress website on AWS LightSail and how to transfer an existing WordPress website to AWS LightSail. You see this website here wptrialzone.com which is hosted on Hostinger and I want to transfer this WordPress website to AWS LightSail. First, I will create a new WordPress website on AWS LightSail and then I will transfer the website here. Here I am logged in to my AWS console and I will search for LightSail. I'll select light cell here. This is the light cell home and here I need to create an instance. So I'll click on this create instance button. Here on the instance location, I can select a different location. I should select a location where the targeted visitors are living. For now, I'll select the Mumbai and WordPress works with Linux or Unix web servers. It doesn't work with Microsoft Windows servers. So I'll go with Linux and Unix here under app and ways. I will select WordPress which is already selected. I have another option to select WordPress multi-site but I want to create a normal WordPress site so I'll just go with this WordPress. When I scroll down, you will see you will connect to your instance using default SSH key. If you need to connect to the host using SSH using the command prompt on the computer then click here it provides a default SSH key. I'll download the default SSH key. I can create more SSH keys here but I'll just go with the default one. If you turn on this enable automatic snapshots it will create automatic backups every day but I'll not enable this for now. Here dual stack is by default selected. I cannot change it. Now here are the pricings. You can select the one which suits your requirement. For this tutorial, I will go with the $5 plan which gives me 1 GB of memory and 40 GB of SSD storage. When I scroll down, I need to put a name for the instance. I renamed it to WordPress WP Trial Zone so I can recognize. If I create multiple instances here, I can identify this instance that this is for the WP Trial Zone website. Now I will create the instance. So the instance is ready and it is booting up. It will take a moment to start the instance. I will wait for that. Now our instance is ready. You can see it is running. It provides an IP address for the instance. Here the first thing I need to do, I need to get a static IP for this instance. Because if I reboot this instance, I can have a new IP address. So I cannot access the website after that. We will point the domain to the IP, but if it changes automatically, the domain will not work with the website. I will go to the networking option here and I'll obtain a static IP. Here you see the static IP option. I'll create static IP and I need to select the instance. I'll select WordPress WP trial zone. I'll name the IP with static for WP trial zone and create. It says the IP is free when it is attached to the instance. So I'll create it and it will attach the IP to the instance. Here you see the new IP is attached to this instance. And with the pin icon, I can say that this is the static IP attached to this instance. Now I will click on this instance and it gives you the default username to log into the WordPress. The default username is user. You see this button access WordPress admin. I'll click on this. And here I'll click on this link. Here I can log into the WordPress admin. The default username is user but we don't have the password. I'll close this window and you see default WordPress admin password, retrieve default password. So I'll click on this and I'll simply copy this code. If I paste this code to Cloud Shell, it will provide the password. So I'll click on this launch Cloud Shell. It open the Cloud Shell and I'll paste the code here and I want to paste it. And here is the password for the WP admin. I'll copy this and I'll save the password to a notepad. And now I'll try to log into the WP admin. So our WordPress site with AWS LightSail is ready. The site only loads with the IP, the static IP we have obtained for the instance. We need to point the domain to this instance so that we can access the website with the domain. Before that, I need to create a backup of this existing website so I can have the same website on AWS LightSail. I'll close this terminal. So I'll add a new plugin and here I'll search for all in one and I'll install the plugin. Now I'll create a backup of this website and later we will restore the backup to the AWS instance. If I don't create the backup before pointing the domain, I cannot access this website. So I'm creating the backup first, later I will point the domain. I'll download this. The download is now completed. It downloaded the file with .wpress extension. We will upload this file to AWS after pointing the domain to AWS. 
So I'll close this and I'll close this website here. Now I am logged into my Namecheap account. I have purchased the domain with Namecheap. I need to point the domain to this IP, our static IP, so we can access the website with that domain. I'll copy this static IP and I'll go to the domain. Here it was pointed with name servers to Hostinger. So I'll use the Namecheap basic DNS here and I'll go to advanced DNS settings. If you have any other records here, you should delete all the records. And now I will add two new A records. I'll click here, I'll select A record and the host name is add. This means the main domain and the IP address, the same IP address for the instance. I'll save this record. I will add another record that is for the www version of the domain. I'll paste the IP and I'll save it. So we have pointed the domain to this IP. Now if I log on to WP trial zone, it should load the default website from the AWS instance. The domain is not ready yet. I'll check the DNS status of the domain. Here dnschecker.org. Here I'll type wptrialzone.com and I'll select the A record search and it shows the IP is pointing to 15206.45.54. That is our IP. This means it is ready. I will wait until I can access the default website from AWS with this domain. Now the A records are successfully updated. If I log on to the website, I can see it is not secure. I'll go to advanced and I'll select proceed with wptrialzone.com. So now I can access the website with the domain. I don't need Namecheap anymore. I'll close this. So we can access the website with the domain and this IP as well. Now I can log on to the WP dashboard with the domain. Here I need to use the default username and the default password from AWS Light Sale settings. I log in. So now we have the default website with the domain. Next, we need to set up the SSL certificate for the domain. So I'll go to the AWS console again. I'll go to the home and here I'll open the terminal using this icon. Here I need to type the command to install the SSL certificate. I'll paste the command here. You can copy the command from the screen and I'll press enter. It says please provide a valid space separated list of domains for which you wish to configure the web server. So I will type the domain name wptrialzone.com. It says if you want to include the www version of the domain. I'll say yes, I want to include the www version and enable http to https redirection i'll type y for yes and i'll press enter enable non www to www redirection i don't want to redirect the non www version to the www version so i'll type no and yes i want to redirect the www version to the non www version here i'll type y for yes and i'll press enter it says the process it is going to perform. First, it will stop the web server. It will create the redirections we have selected and it will create a cron job to automatically renew the certificate each month. So I will type Y here to agree with all the conditions. And now it requires an email address to enable the Let's Encrypt SSL certificate. I will type my email address and press enter. I will agree with the terms and conditions from Let's Encrypt. Now it is performing all the operations. Okay, the SSL certificate is ready. I'll press enter to continue. I will close this window and I'll refresh this page. The SSL is not ready yet. Maybe I need to wait for a few minutes to see the SSL here. Now the SSL certificate for the domain is ready. We don't see that error anymore. Here you can see connection is secure. And with the certificate, you can see the certificate is issued by Let's Encrypt. We are done with the domain and the SSL certificate. If I go to settings here and general, here I can see the WordPress address URL and the site address URL start with HTTP. We should make this HTTPS. So whenever we upload anything to the media folder, it uploads to the HTTPS version instead of the HTTP version. So we need to make this HTTPS. For that, I'll go to that AWS screen again and I'll open the terminal again. Here first I need to log on to the WordPress directory. I'll paste the command here. You can copy the command from the screen. I'll press enter. So now I'm in the Bitnami folder. I'll type ls to list all the files and folders inside this folder, Bitnami folder. Here I can see the WordPress folder. So I'll go to the WordPress folder, cd WordPress. And now I'll type ls again. And here I see the wp config.php. I need to edit this wp config.php 
and make the HTTP to HTTPS. I will use the Vim editor here. I'll type Vim wp-config.php and I'll press enter. Here I'm scrolling down with the arrow from the keyboard and I need to find that site address. Here is the WP home and WP site URL. You see here, both are HTTP. So I need to change them to HTTPS. I will press I on the keyboard and now we are on the insert mode. Here I will type HTTP and S. For this, S. So we are done here and now I need to save this file. To save the file, I will press the escape key and the colon and WQ and press enter. It says the changes are written. So now we are done with this. I'll close the terminal again. I'll go here. I'll refresh this page and it log into the admin again. And now I see the WordPress address URL is with HTTPS and also the site address URL is with HTTPS. So we are good with the new website. Now we need to transfer the old website WP trial zone to this version of website. So I need to add the same plugin here. I'll search for all in one and I'll install this all-in-one WP migration. I'm activating this plugin. The plugin is activated, so I'll go here and click on import. And I'll import the backup we created earlier. And this is the backup with .wpress extension. I'll open this, error. Your file exceeds the maximum upload limit of 80 MB. We need to increase this upload max file size and post max file size on the server. So I'll go to the light cell window again. I'll open the terminal again. And I'll enter a command here. I'll press enter. It says the post max size is 80 MB and the upload max file size is 80 MB. You can copy the command from the screen. Now we are going to increase the upload max file size and the post max size. For that, I need to enter another command. Again, you can copy the command on the screen. With this command, we can edit the php.ini file. I'll press enter. Here I can see the upload max file size is 80 MB. I'll change this to 300 MB. So I'll use the arrows on the keyboard. And now I'll press I for insert mode. And I'll make this 300. 300. I'll delete this 8. So it is now 300. I'll press the escape button. I'll press the front slash. And I'll search for post underscore max so that I can go to the post max size here. I will type the I button again for insert mode and change this to 300. Delete the 8. Delete 10. Now 300. So the upload max file size and post max file size is 300 and 300. I'll save the file. I'll press escape and colon and WQ. So we have increased the max file upload size. Here, before uploading the file, I'll click here and I see the reboot option. I'll reboot. Okay, it rebooted. Now, if I refresh this, it will take a moment before we can access the website because we just rebooted the instance. See, I cannot access it. Let's wait for a few minutes. The server is ready. Now, I'm going to upload the file again. I'll click on import from file and select the backup. Now it is uploading the file. It will erase the default website and upload the backup from the website we had on WP trial zone. The upload is not complete. It says the import process will override your website, including the database, media, plugins and everything. So I want to proceed and I'll click on the finish button. Now, if I visit the website, I see the WP trial zone, the website we had earlier. I refresh the admin and I need to log in. So this default user and the default password from AWS LightSail will not work anymore because we have overwritten that with our previous backup. So we need to log in with the previous username and password. Now, if I go to plugins, I can see a lot of plugins here, but I can delete the ones I don't need. These are the plugins I had on this website. So the website is running with the AWS instance we created here. AWS LightSail does not provide emails. You need to purchase email servers elsewhere. AWS has some other apps where you can get emails or you can opt in for Google Workspace or Microsoft 365. Watch this video to learn how to sign up for Google Workspace emails. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.